Hey, hello everybody. We got ourselves a little mini project. So we got to uh, we got to change this right here. Uh, if you guys tow with a gooseneck, your trailer might be a little bit better off than this one. So the main problem I have with this is, well, my toolbox down here is yes, it's full of blocks and it's overloaded. But these binders, they do not fit in there no matter what. You can't put them sideways or nothing. It's just this toolbox is not deep enough. And uh, I would have liked to have already had the upgraded trailer to uh, take this one's position But we got to wait a little bit longer on that. So we're gonna try and make a little tweaks on it now The guy that used to haul our equipment before I got the setup uh, He had a little step deck low boy thing tilt trailer. It's pretty nice little rig But he had all his chain binders and everything up on the tongue of it. Uh, he towed it with a Peterbilt. So It's different than all of this So what we're gonna do today is I bought a bought a tongue box <laughs> i'm not even kidding look at the box it says tongue box as weird as that sounds we're putting a tongue box on the trailer so i didn't really uh it came from harbor freight and i didn't really think too much of it other than it needs to go up here well look at that big old hunker if that thing was not there that'd be okay but structurally i think i need it but we're going to put it right here. I got this board mocked up for uh, display purposes. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what I'm going to do and show you the problem I ran into with it real quick. Okay. Obviously, it fits the tongue. It's groove for it. That looks good. But the main problem I have here is, well, first one is I want to have it lower than this so that board... Uh, I'll have a piece of flat bar and I'll just weld it in there But I don't want it to stick down below this and hit my head because it's already tight enough going through there with this longer flat bed uh, Second is well, I don't want to have to jump over to the truck to access it and It opens the wrong dang way So it's riveted on the hinges. So I'm gonna drill out those rivets And try to put the hinge over here. I'm not worried about the lock i can add another lock or something i have this one messed up as it is so without further ado let's go ahead and start throwing down some drill bits onto this old tongue box and start screwing her i mean drilling her it's a tongue box i'm not even kidding let's get Guys ever take an afternoon nap wake up feeling groggy and think hey let's go run some power tools <laughs> worked out this time but <laughs> i'm a little bit groggy but look at her i think it looks kind of slick again i'm not too stoked at how much it sticks out because if i'm putting a loader bucket or something up on here i guess we'll just have to go over the top or i'll put some boards or something right there if it came to that but measure for this right here and go get me a piece of steel and then weld her in right there I may have miscalculated my size. We need it thicker. I did not know this project was gonna go this long. Day two. So, I had time last night to wrap this up, but I went and had dinner and then I went and had a nap. And 
got home from work probably an hour and a half ago, but we're just winded. Figured out the toolbox. That bar I had on there was too thin. Uh, trial and error. So I got a thicker one. Eighth inch compared to... Well, that might be quarter inch compared to eighth inch. My bad. You guys get where I'm going. Thicker versus not thicker. So going to get this welded up in there. I'm just going to weld it on the under, underside just a little bit. And then throw the box up in there. And then right here, I'm going to put, uh, instead of drilling a hole through this and ruining the you know, structuralness, I'm going to put a couple washers or use that flat bar and just drill some holes through it and then weld it to that. And then bolt my toolbox in there. And then we should be, we should be in business to get her tested out. Let's go get the welder over here. We'll get this thing in position. Hold that sucker on there. Let's see if we get this installed in like five minutes. I bet y'all, five minutes from now, I bet y'all be be that much closer to being done. that crap out of there then we're gonna test it see if it actually holds some stuff but solid enough for me I just took these nuts and I just welded them right here felt like that was easier than just welding a washer that way just threads right into it she's done deal give her a couple miles I'm gonna hit her with some rattle can I gotta hit this thing with a rattle can that was my old uh, that was my brace for my winch bracket That one goes on the other trailer. I normally don't carry five, but gotta zigzag them, but they fit. Hell yeah, there we go. Got all this mess. V Belt and Sun proudly supports uh, Makita Power Tools. If only Makita Power Tools would support V Belt and Sun. 
Ah. All right, brief intermission. It's kind of funny that I just uh, endorsed the Makita because this one, it's not that old, uh, but it's definitely been used three quarter impact. Uh, she's definitely a hoss, but it just started smoking on V-Belt. He was over there pulling the track pads off of the prime tank, but here we go. This thing is officially installed and secure. I'm definitely a fan of it. I think it'll be a lot easier on me so I don't have to go underneath there every time to grab the chains. And that box, you can't even close it. So uh, I know I can't lock this one, but uh, like I already said, I ain't that worried about it. This thing stays at the house and never stays on a job for any length of time or if it does it's way out in the woods and no one's gonna bother it but one thing to note you cannot walk underneath here because you'll hit your head on that every time see it's just before you could put your head in between the gooseneck rails not now but his old friend and her husband and baby just showed up actually bought some stuff off my uncle he was selling a lawnmower but so i just caught up with them and then so i was all Fun. It's cool to catch up with somebody that you used to hang out with pretty much every day back in like high school, middle school. But yeah, I like having good friends all over the place, even if you don't see them all the time. It's always fun to catch up with them. But speaking of people that aren't good friends, uh, you guys know the 08's having a little bit of issues, and <sighs> it all kind of started happening when I switched it to EFI Live. Now I'm not knocking EFI Live. That's just a platform. There's a tuner behind all of it. And well, just like anything else that you buy, you need the support behind it. You know, if you buy a Kubota, you want the dealer to hook you up. If you buy a new Dodge, you want the dealer to hook you up if anything goes wrong. Uh, or in the case of a tuner, you're buying his auto cal and you're buying his tune support. He has um, been a little slow on the response, switching turbos and stuff around. Uh, I did go to a 67 millimeter third gen swap. 5.9 style and then I switch back to VGT and in doing so the original time having EFI live with original VGT the truck ran no problem no issues with the VGT uh, then it started surging like a weekend at EFI live from this guy so I said screw it we're gonna delete the VGT we're gonna put regular turbo in there and put a pack brake behind it and you guys know the story behind that we had a little bit of issues on that end some stuff I didn't like so I was like we're going back to VGT gonna go with a brand new one so I have a 63 millimeter cheetah turbo in there um, <clears throat> and I had to switch back tunes now what that entails is you call your tuner and you tell them hey what this is what's going on I need the tunes to reflash in the truck it was kind of a pair to get a hold of this guy and it started off with uh, the first time talking to him on the phone about what I can expect out of his tunes he was very vague and very boring and enthusiastic there's no enthusiasm at all with it so I probably should have pulled the, you know, pulled out right there. Uh, so long story short, he hasn't wrote back to any of my emails. So I sent him several and I said that, hey, Pure Diesel Power is gonna help out. They wanna put their tunes on the truck. Is this auto cow locked to you out only? And he writes back finally after three emails of nothing. He said, I guarantee you it's not the tuning. And I said, well, <laughs> maybe say that the first one and rule out the confusion nevertheless that's one thing i have not changed is his tunes everything else has realistically been changed so i send him some stuff so that he can unlock my programmer so i can get new tunes from someone else no big deal but he writes me a letter saying um since you're not buying any product from me i'm pretty much done with you i'll send you the uh you know the free up the tuner program thing you believe that crap though and i'm not going to say his name on here because i'm not going to make him famous uh if you guys want to find me behind closed doors i'll share his name uh as a warning do not go to this guy not because maybe his tunes are good maybe they're bad don't know yet but i'm willing to find out by using somebody else's but the attitude if you got crappy attitude uh i don't want no part of it okay uh we'll go find someone else even if they're triple the price someone with a better attitude is worth their weight in gold and that should be everybody's you know brief example people thumbs up videos good attitude supporting if you don't like the video just leave you don't need a thumbs down them. it's not a big deal uh it goes to show like on any youtube video 
that I watch, if I don't like it, it's got to be really bad for me to thumbs it down. Like, I mean really bad. Like, you know, something along the lines of kicking a puppy dog for fun. That's bad, and that, I mean, we should all gather up and go find that guy if we find a video like that. But just a negative attitude that people walk out into the show with, uh, and that guy is a prime example of it. Uh, I have countless, countless dollars into this truck, uh, and it would be, I will find humor in it if it was his tunes in the end, but it would be a, kind of like a evil laugh mixed with we need to find somebody in anyway uh so we're gonna change up some tunes my man tony i mentioned him before he's got the hookups he's the one who helped me out with pure diesel and all that stuff uh he's gonna see if we can get some different tuner on this maybe pure diesel will do it i don't know but i want somebody that's gonna answer the phone anytime that i need them to uh if i have question concerns you know the truck needs to run good they can't have any hiccups issues especially failing exhaust brake there's a dead spot in it if you didn't know that and we need to fix that and some surging under low rpm uh or high rpm under good load so, anyway enough rambling goods and bads but we got the toolbox installed i'm pretty happy with it i've been wanting to do that for a while and uh one quick note if you guys are still watching this video thank you very much and uh this weekend uh, we got uh, we got Saturday and Sunday off, so I'm headed to Nevada to pick up something special, and I think you guys will like it because it's missing a couple more valves than any of these new jokers. I'll tell you that much. It's going to be one heck of a heck of a project. I will say that much. But that's not the top secret project. That will come later on in the week. It got postponed some, and then we got some other stuff. But this this month, this year, it's. She's building up on us so we're gonna end it right there hit them buttons like comment subscribe and uh, share this video i really appreciate it but thank you guys so much for sticking through it and watching my videos see you guys later thank you bye